Hello, Year 6. Welcome to Wednesday's Maths lesson. So, we're still in the same book, still in the Year 6 workout book for now. And we're moving on today to pages, well, just to page 36. We're just doing one page today. Um, and it's a symmetry and movement page. Okay, so this is some new learning. We haven't done this yet in Year 6, so I just want you to try your best and have a good go. So we're having a look for the first one at coordinates. So coordinates are on a graph where you've got to read the graph and see where the cross is. Okay, so you've got to remember the golden rule of coordinates for this, which is along the corridor and up the stairs, or along the corridor and down the stairs. Okay, so for example, A, let me show you. So A is here. So to read where A is, where am I here? So you need to make sure you go along the corridor to where it is. So it's on minus three. So that's going to be your first coordinate. And then up the stairs and it's on six. So A, you would write it. So you've got to write it in brackets and remember your minus sign. So it'd be minus three comma six and then close your brackets. OK, so B then is over on this side. So you'll go along the corridor and then up the stairs. So along the corridor to five. So five would be your first coordinate. It's not a minus. So just five, no minus sign. And then up and it'll be three. So B would be five comma three. OK, if you're down here for E, then you still need to go along the corridor up here. But then you need to come down so it would be 2 minus 5. And over here, you'd go along the corridor and then down the side. OK, so remember along the corridor and then up the stairs or along the corridor and then down the stairs. OK. Question 2 then says, look at the grid in question 1. Describe the translation you would use to move and then which point, showing where you've got to move the points to. So, the first one is point A to 2 minus 5. So first I'm going to go and find 2 minus 5. So along the corridor to 2, down to minus 5. So there's already one there, it's E. That makes it a bit easier. So we've got to figure out some instructions to go from A to E, basically. So I'm going to count across and see how many I need to go across and then see how many I need to go down. So it's one, two, three, four, five across, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven down. But I need to say which way I'm going. So it was five right. I will show you in a second. Five right, eleven down. Okay. So I've written that there and I'll just show you how I did it. So here I went across, so I went right, one, two, three, four, five. And then I counted down and it was 11 down and that took me to my new point. Okay, so you've just got to write a little explanation here to show how to get from the point on there to the point it's asking you to. So B is saying minus eight, minus eight. So I've got along to minus eight, down to minus 8 and I've put a cross there. I've written it in so I know where I'm going to. I'm not going to lose it. So now I've got to go from B, which is up here, all the way down to there. So you could, it's up to you how you want to get there. You could go across and then down or you could go down and then across. It's up to you. Okay, just make sure you are accurate. Okay, don't have a guess. You've got to count them really, really carefully and make sure you are on the exact point. Okay, right, number three then is a little bit trickier. It says, answer the questions about the parallelogram below. What is the coordinate of vertex D? Okay, so we've been given A, B and C. We've got to work out what D is, but we haven't got the numbers to help us. We've got to use the other coordinates. So, if A is minus 3, 3. Okay, try and show you here. Where am I here? 
So if this is minus 3, 3, then minus 3, we know, is the first coordinate. So we're going along the corridor. So minus 3 is going to have to be about there. Okay, so if that's minus 3, this one here is 3, isn't it? Here on this line. I don't know if you can see that. But there is 3. Okay. So our second number in our coordinate is going to be 3. Isn't it? Okay. Because we're going along the corridor. We're going along the corridor first. We need to figure out what this one is to work this one out. But we've already figured out what that one is. And that's our second number in our coordinate. So we can write that in there. Okay, now to work out our first number in our coordinate, we're going to have to use a bit of knowledge of how long our parallelogram is. It is a little bit tricky, so bear with me. So B, we've gone along the corridor first and it's minus 5. So that there, oh, where am I here, is minus 5, okay? And then along the corridor here, it ends at 4. Here. Okay, so that ends at 4. So it's 4 to minus 5. So we need to work out the difference between 4 and minus 5. And that will tell us how long our parallelogram is. And then we can apply that to the top. So the difference between 4 and minus 5 would be 9, wouldn't it? Okay, so it's 9 coordinates long, if that makes sense. I know it's a little bit tricky, bear with me. So, if this is minus 3, we need to do minus 3, add 9, and that will give us this one. So minus 3, add 9. 9, you do that and that will give you the first coordinate. And we've already got the second coordinate was 3. Okay, so you work that out, have a go. Okay, B then says the parallelogram is translated left 4 and up 7. What is the new coordinate of vorte uh, vertex, not vortex, vertex B? So we only need one coordinate for the answer. And it's moving it just like you did in B. Sorry, in question two. So, B then is minus 5, minus 5. So, if we're going left 4, so remember, here, where are we? Here is minus 5. So, if we're going left, we're going this way, we're going away from 0. So, what would minus 5 take away 4 be? So it'd be minus 9, wouldn't it? So it'd be down here, minus 9. And then think, minus 5, we're going up 7. So minus 5's here, we're going up 7. So think about what minus 5 add 7 would be. It'd be above 0, wouldn't it? And then that would be your second coordinate. So it'd be minus nine something. I know it's tricky. So please don't worry if you're really, really struggling. Send me an email and I can always send you a picture on an email and explain it a little bit more for you. But just have a go. Try your best. I know it's tricky. So don't worry too much if you're struggling. Um, just have a go. Don't forget to send me some pictures. I would love to see how you get on with this new learning. Okay, see you tomorrow.